Thank you so much guys for the last video where I really really appreciated all the great uh, uh, response that we got and uh, I thought at first that I don't know how many people would actually watch a video like this because you know it was all about uh, weird Thai snacks but it was turns out it wasn't that weird that we thought. Um, so this time I got a few uh, comments uh, and a couple of people told me personally that they wanted to see something with squids in it. So since both me and Megna with uh, you call me Pracheta here. So that we wanted a couple of different snacks uh, at least and then I thought that well let's just start with something uh, far cooler than what we have in India. So uh, this is the first thing that I would like to talk about today. We have three by the way. Um, the first one we would like to talk about today is how cool is Lays. Squid flavored Lays. I mean the first time I went to Thailand I saw a hot chili squid flavored Lays. And then I found that Lay's has this incredible number of seaweed, um, tom clong, which is basically a uh, seaweed lace. Yeah, they have seaweed lace, they have butter garlic, they have a bacon, and they have so many Why isn't items. India doing this yet? I don't know, it's like so stupid that we don't get to do anything which is not. Uh, like, come on, today is India, what are and, you doing? And seriously, man, we, like, we are tired of eating vegetarian chips. Give us something which we can talk about. So, uh, the first thing I decided was to eat a lot of uh, chips, and uh, this is my favorite one uh, from there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can we see it? So, this is the first one that I think uh, we definitely need to talk about, and uh, I'm going to finally have us. So, this one is the base tax. And by the way, Stats is like Pringles and uh, it does look like Pringles. It is, it is very similar. Uh, it is very similar to Pringles. I can smell the squid from here. No, I right? don't mind it if I do. Actually, mine. I mean, it's. I know, right? Why am I eating the smaller chips? I never expected Lay's to taste better than Pringles. It does. It tastes better than Pringles. And you can actually taste the squid. It's so intense, right? It's so beautiful. It is a It is a worst of Lay's, it's not something. It's so it's got like a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tang. It's very balanced and then you definitely get a fishy slightly CBD hit which I think works beautifully here. I know that it's like not something that uh, maybe a person from Thailand would be like ah this is not as fishy as you want it to be but for somebody who is beginning to appreciate snacks which are seafood oriented this might be a great option for you guys. This is something that is like a beginner's chip. Okay, and if you are not sure what you want to, you know, experiment with, this is something that you can totally experiment with. This is something that I personally love because it's really addictive and it's literally no one can eat this one. So, uh, I would say this one has a lot of uh, merits. No one definitely can eat this one with this one. This is mine. Sharing is caring. The second thing that we have here, I don't know whether you guys can see it. This one is the Oyaki brand uh, baked crispy fish sheet. And this is the cuttlefish fish flavor. Oh, it's the cuttlefish flavor fish sheet. And uh, this stuff is really good. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. okay. Um, so, this one will be. Third one, but it is 
is like really crazy. Right? This is super amazing. Yeah, so basically compared to the first one, if the first one was like 1x, this is like 5x. Yep. This is fish. Okay. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. This is so fishy and sweet and it's like got everything wow. out of the past This stuff is so fishy and This is genius. I know, right? So once you taste this, you can actually feel the cuttlefish in your brain. It yeah. is that fishy. It's fishy and super sweet. It's, it's like, sweet I give some kind of sweet syrup. I think I think this is honey or it's something like that. Syrupy, uh, uh, this particular uh, flavor, it's uh, the cuttlefish flavor, and this is similar to the last video that we did where we had some fish snack. Yeah, so this is similar to that, but this one. But this is a better version. It's better because it's thinner. That's the most yeah. important fact. This is thinner. It is definitely very crispy. Also, it's more flavorful. Yeah, and if you look at it, each and every one of these uh, little uh, uh, rectangles. Uh, you can actually see the little glaze of uh, sugar on it. So yeah, it is probably not the most uh, healthy snack, but definitely something very very tasty. Okay, and, uh, if you're looking at it, I see that the calories from fat is actually zero, and the total energy is 110 calories. So this stuff actually has it's very low calorie. It does have fat zero percent written on the cover. And the entire package is 110 calories, which is nothing. And this is a lot of product. Like this has got a lot of produce in it. Like I can conservatively say that I can eat this for like at least a half an hour, one hour. And this is like you can taste one and you can just go on with it, right? It's it's weirdly addictive because it's very sweet at first, then it's kind of salty. The saltiness kind of kicks in after a bit. So you get to taste the saltiness but not at first. This is the last thing that we have for today and this stuff is uh, the squid seafood snack and it's a lovely pie flavor. This Party. package contains 45% squid in it and the rest of it is surimi. Now surimi I had to look it up and uh, surimi is basically a uh, kind of fish and uh, surimi and uh, squid makes up about 95% of it. The remaining is wheat flour and tapioca starch and uh, this stuff again is pretty low calorie. Um, I can see that it's about 70 calories per uh, package and it is about, uh, it's like a lot of sodium in it, like 80% of the in one package. This stuff contains about 45% of squid in it, about 40% of surimi which is another uh, kind of fish and about 5% of wheat flour and tapioca starch uh, and seasoning. It is actually quite high in sodium but again all these snacks are but it has about 70 calories per pack which when you're comparing it to other stuff is quite low calorie. You can eat it at room temperature but it's a good idea to also eat it freezing cold. Okay so It's chewy. The texture of this is so different. It has such a burst of umami. That the moment you chew it, you get that flavor. It's chewy. The texture is fantastic. What do you think? I think I like this the best. I know, right? I get the best for the last. So, if you freeze it as well, it tastes fantastic. If you are rating them from least to best, which one? I can't believe that Lee is coming to her and I love it. Yeah. So, and it's the second, the bento first. This one is the best. So as a as as a as a taster, you know, you get to take this as your prize. You remember you the time you cried because I was I got a <laughs> I think 
think I got a very good person and you tired just because Yeah, because I won't get her cooking anymore Yeah, I still remember Meghna bursting out in tears and going Oh my god, we love it too Because of our food And if you've ever had her cooking, she beats a lot of rock chefs That is not true not an invitation. I swear, I'm not even joking. And I've, I've had food from one of the best chefs in the world and he eats them. Why do you even master chef yet? Because I'm not a competitor. I'm a lover, not a competitor. But you would beat them in eat. No, nah, it's okay. I'm not a very big fan of all this. Gordon Ramsay would love her. He would probably hate me if I would call me a lot of things. I really would like some suggestions about what else can we do. Uh, we did want to do the fire moment challenge one, but uh, I realized I had run out of fire moment because I didn't know. Are you kidding me? <coughs> um, moving on. Um, too much spicy is something that I have every day, but we have more challenges in coming. Yes, we have more challenges in coming. And we would like to uh, extend a uh, huge thanks to people who have already subscribed and liked our channels and who are constantly putting in suggestions and ideas. I know that the sound quality is not that great, but yeah. we are with us, we are trying our best to get a new uh, system in. So thank you so very much. And uh, we'll see you again so long. Sayonara. When did you become champion?